Black Sunday. So I wanted to just discuss uh, an idea that actually came from a, a post on, uh, on Facebook that Mark McYoung uh, made. Mark McYoung is a um, well-known name in the, the world of professional violence and violence mitigation and all that. Um, very, very experienced individual and I uh, highly recommend his books and his, you know, his feed and all that. Um, but you know, he, he made a statement, he said, when you're only responsible for yourself, you make principle-based decisions. But when you're in a leadership position, you have to change and make effects-based decisions. And, and, you know, and he, he went on to say a few words on that. And I just wanted to say a few of my own words on this. Um, it's an interesting concept. It's a very true concept. Um, we see this in political debates all the time, you know, the heart versus the head, blah, blah, blah. Well, more than that, it's, it, this, it's just cause and effect, psychology, and all that. You know, and you have to ask yourself, what is a man without principles? I don't know. I, I don't necessarily have the answer for you. But, but ask yourself that question. Your answer may change over time. But ask yourself, what is a man without principles? What is a human being without principles? It's hard to say. I don't, I don't know. Um, I certainly have some very strong principles myself. And I do have a difference between my personal preferences and opinions versus what I would enact as rules and policy were I in a leadership position because I do understand that there's a difference there but um, that's, a, that's another can of worms in and of itself. On the other side of it, you know, making effects-based decisions, that's, um, that's tough. You know, oftentimes you have to go against what you think is perhaps right or best when you're making effects-based decisions. Um, you know, you, you frequently hear me say something like, you know, my ultimate aim in life is to become a Vulcan. Uh, I esteem logic and knowledge and wisdom and, you know, putting things under the, the microscope of the, the cause and effect dynamic. I think that that is perhaps the best and, uh, and most moral way to go about things because if you're dealing with cause and effect you are benefiting the most you know the greatest percentage of parties involved at you know at every decision but then the question is what are your principles what are your values and i've asked you this before and do those things line up with a good cost-benefit ratio, or have you simply ignored the cost because of the perceived benefit or the purely individual psychological benefit of it? You know, it's hard to say these are decisions you have to make for yourself, but it's just something I want you to ask yourself. What is a man that has no principles? And at the same time, you know, what is a man who is only cold and calculating at all times and has no heart? It's a tough, it's a tough call, it's a tough balance. And I do believe there's a balance. It, it of course would take some compromise on both sides and perhaps only circumstantially, but you have to understand that there's always going to be a circumstantial exception to every rule every single rule. That's all I got for you. Just want to inspire a little thought. Comment. Have some fun. Talk to me. You guys have been really quiet lately. Talk to you guys later. Good journey.